Hey guys, it's SRC Reptiles, and today I'm going to be making a little update for you guys. It is October 6th, and I'm going to be making a little update with Lark, and then with Little Rascal, the two babies from Harmony and Mischief. And it looks like they might possibly be fired up right now, so that's really good. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will get to see their true colors. I kind of have the blind open a little bit, or the, yeah, the blinds, not the curtains. Just so you guys can see their true colors, because I'll try holding them in the sun and see if that'll show off their colors or not. Also, um, when I cleaned recently, Ember, uh, Magma, Blaze, and Snickers tanks, because it was these two, and then these two over here that I cleaned, and then I'm going to, when I have the next day off, clean four more. Because I figured if I can clean four at a time, um, instead of all of them in one day, because obviously I never end up getting all of them cleaned in one day, and it's extremely like running around all over the place and I forget to eat sometimes because I'm so consumed with cleaning so I figured I would break them into pieces so anyway uh, this is how her tank is now set up because the way it was previously uh, I did not like it so right now she's got a cork log that's down here and in the back is where her teapot is it used to actually be in this corner here and then of course her lay box is still in the back this leaf used to be at an angle in this direction, and I now have it across this way. Her bridge um, for her coconut now goes straight across instead of back into the corner. And she has these uh, vines here that I had now have supported by the top, so they're not going to droop when she's laying on it, because you can see this is her tail right here, because she is back in there sleeping. So um, she's got her soap dish here that she likes to hang out in. And then, of course, she's got, I think, three plants on this side and three plants on that side as well, because there's two in the very back corners that are two-foot-long plants. And then we've got a mix of 12 and 18-inch plants that are in there of silk and plastic. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys, because that is her... Some stuff's in the same place, because the coconut can't be moved. It's tied to the top. Um, and the piece of wood of course can be taken out it's just held in place by the foam back there and by that suction cup anyway before I get too distracted let's go ahead and get one of the babies out so here is little rascal and he is fired up right now so he's darker and he is a really pretty color let me see if I can get him to sit still for a second so you can really see that orange developing and he's got still those little tiny white portholes like I'd pointed out in the last video He's a really pretty dark, kind of reddish brown. Kind of turn him to this side here. So you can kind of see there. He's very pretty. I cannot wait. He, um, I weighed them yesterday. And he or she, I obviously don't know genders yet, uh, weighed 2.75 grams or 77, something like that. So we'll come over here to the window and see. I'm not really sure if you guys can really see his colors better because I can't really see it very well because the light's shining, but hopefully you guys can. So he's a very pretty little gecko. Come back over here and kind of have him pointed this way. But yeah, he's very pretty. I really like him. And this one is definitely going to be on a possible holdback list just because of the coverage of the pattern. Now I have noticed, and of course it has faded out before, but I'm going to zoom in. There is a little spot. I'll kind of hold as still as I can. And I'll put like a little arrow pointing to it. There's a little spot on his neck that I'm not really sure if it's going to turn out to be a actual like Dalmatian spot. Because you have to remember, these are babies from Harmony and Mischief. And Mischief does not have any Dalmatian spots, nor does he have any history of Dalmatian spots in his family. But Harmony does have a couple Dalmatian spots on her. And it is almost impossible to get them off of my fingers sometimes. So, anyway, that is Little Rascal. I switch hands here. But yeah, they are so much more laid back now since they've been being handled when they get fed. I don't normally get them out to hold them, except for when I'm making videos, which it's been a while because obviously I don't like to stress them out or anything. Um, but I like to hand feed because I can monitor how much they're eating and I also can handle them a little bit so they get used to being handled and not real jumpy. As you can see, he's just chilling on my hand. And Lark used to be the most jumpy one and he also just sits around. So it's nice that they're not like overly jumpy anymore and they've kind of calmed down a little bit. You can see the crest, um, if he'll hold still for a few seconds, is looking nice. 
you can see it's kind of getting that little lip on it where it will start to droop as he gets bigger. Obviously, like I'd said in the past, I wasn't really going for pinstriping. I was kind of going for more coverage with this pairing. And with Snickers, when I pair her, she's going to be more for the pinstripe line, which of course uh, Twix is going to be being paired with, which he weighed 25.34 grams yesterday, which is awesome. We'll get Lark out now because he is also fired up currently. His pattern is also looking very nice. And you can see he's more of a dark brown versus a reddish brown. And you can see that there is that faded pattern that's starting to show up a little bit more that is in the upper laterals. And he's starting to kind of have a little bit more of that white developing along the very, very bottom of the stomach and then, of course, the top, uh, or not top, sorry, the middle of the stomach where those white dots are still at. And you'll see he has white dots on both sides. Very pretty. And he has also a nice crest you can see from looking. And as you can see, he's just like holding still really nicely for me. And he has more of pin dashing, so he's definitely got more of a pinstripe thing than a uh, little rascal. But obviously not complete, but there is a decent amount. Uh, but not enough to be uh, either 60% or above. So just pin dashing. But we'll come over here like we did with little rascal. Kind of show him in the sun. Hopefully it kind of shows his color okay because like I said I can't see <laughs> when I have my camera pointed in the light because it's too bright for me to actually be able to see my screen. So hopefully, hey could you please hold still? You were being really good a second ago. <laughs> Typical. That He probably honestly doesn't like the sun in his eyes so that's probably why he's kind of squirming. But anyway, um, when I weighed Lark, he was 2.58 grams, I believe. So he is point, like what is that, point 30? Something like that. Point 30 less than his sibling, but they're both in the 2 gram mark now, which is obviously good. So they've been growing really well because it was a little under a month since I last weighed them, and of course that's when they hatched. So I'm just getting him put back in his little tank here. Oh, maybe. <laughs> There we go. Don't know if I can show you Twix right now because he might be in his little bubble. He really likes this little hide here, which let me see. Yeah, he's in there right now. I'll see if I can get him out, but if I can't, then we're not going to mess with it. Because he's like really good at squirming around and avoiding being picked up. He's grown a lot and I want to show him, so let me see if I can get him out. Okay, so I cheated and I took it off because I couldn't get him out, but you can see he's kind of getting to the point he's almost too big for this little loft, <laughs> but he still likes going in there. <laughs> he is a hoot, and you can see his crest is getting really big and floppy, and he's, like I said, 25 grams, so he uh, definitely is going to be having to get a new bubble loft soon, probably one like Snickers, because hers is for adults. But let me get him out real quick, but I figured I'd show you this because he's funny. He'll, like, curl up in there. Okay, so here's Twix, and he's gotten quite big. And I wish that he was fired up right now, but you can see how he's starting to develop that really pretty white on his sides. He's always had those dots, but you can see near the very bottom of the belly, there's kind of that white that's starting to attach to those. So very excited to see how that's going to start to develop. And you can see his really pretty pinning, and it does break a little bit here down at the base, but he still has really nice pinning. And of course his crest is gorgeous. When he's fired up, he's a really dark brown, and his oranges and whites really pop, because obviously the dark brown. And of course the oranges will be more orange and not so much brownish orange like they are right now. And his belly is a really pretty color. I think his stomach might just be that pretty orange all the time, but you can see really pretty orange that his stomach is. But yes, he is a sweet boy. He likes to be a little stinker sometimes, and, you know, stay in his bubble loft <laughs> when he needs to come out and be adored. But otherwise, he's a very sweet gecko, and I'm very glad that I got him. So, obviously, if anyone's ever looking for nice geckos, if they are a breeder, or if you just want a really pretty pet, um, CJ at the Gecko Barracks has some very pretty geckos. Oh, he's climbing up my arm. I'm going to sit him in here real quick. There we go. Also, I'll show you guys my new kitten. We've had her for oh a little over two weeks now. Her name's Luna. Me and my boyfriend rescued her from these people that are across the street from my parents who are complete assholes. <laughs> Pardon the French. She's right now staying in the bathroom. 
So here's little Luna. She's a calico. Can you say hi? Oh, hi. Oh, it's so good. He's my little baby. Yeah. Oh, and she has really pretty green eyes, don't you? Yeah. So she's been through a lot because the people we got her from were not feeding the adults hardly anything, the two moms and the dad. And uh, they had, between the two mothers, they had 11 kittens. And my cousin was able to take two, and then a friend of mine was able to take one, and then we took Luna. And then some I had taken to the pound, and I honestly don't know if they had gotten homes or not, but it's better than being, better than being uh, there than eaten by foxes or owls, because we have both those in the neighborhood. Blossom does not mind her at all, but Cleo, Jackson's cat, my boyfriend, uh, <laughs> she absolutely hates her. So Cleo still hasn't warmed up to her. But yeah, so Luna is very sweet. She's really pretty too, because she's got like this really neat stripe down her back here. Um, but she also has like the orange and the white that she's got. And then of course she's adorable. Aren't ya? Yes, he's a coot. Show him their belly. Show him the belly. Yes, he's a little belly. Anyway though, guys, this is the, one of the newer members of the family. This is little Luna. I obviously don't show my cats very often because I'm mainly reptile channel now. But I just wanted to show her to you guys. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Sorry it was so long and had a whole bunch of me rambling. Um, anyway, like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. That always encourages me to make more videos. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.